We are in the final day of the encounter, the international encounter of representatives of Casino Rio Bugawa 2012 in Valencia, Spain. And people had a chance to study uh, in the past few days a lot about Hei Ho and Kyo Deng. Uh, both, both those, both uh, Kyo Deng and Hei Ho are uh, structures which belong to Chuden stage. Chuden stage is what is studied, is what uh, is the, the time frame between uh, Sensei and Shidoshi. Uh, in Chuden, we have three main compositions. In today, one one studies the basic Seite Gata particular to this to this stage, which is very particular. You know, when someone's when someone see uh, one doing a Seite Gata of Chuden stage, he might easily take a look and say, "Well, this is Chuden." Furthermore, uh, the student will um, will learn a lot about Hei Ho. Hei Ho, as you know, Hei from soldier, Ho from method. So the method of the soldier or uh, methods which a soldier could apply during war. Heiho uh, actually are methods which a particular master found uh, that, that he could take uh, his, his thoughts or his principles concerning some situation, some particular situation, and he realized that he could use those same principles or forms with many other scenarios, under many other situations, and also with many other other weapons. Heiho is always somehow linked to the idea of deceiving your, your opponent, to leading the, the configuration or leading your enemy or enemies to uh, a situation which you already know. For some study or for some sequence to be classified as Heiho, it is very important that uh, the Tori knows before his action where he is supposed to go and how the final situation is supposed to be. So if I did something in free forms and uh, I had the same result as a, a heiho, one could not say this was a, a, a heiho yet, but just a flow of forms of techniques. A heiho, uh, for a, a heiho to happen, one, one must know before what to go, what is going to happen until the end. Now we have the Seite Gata for today, we have the Heiho and we have the Kyo Deng. This Kyo comes from the verb Oshiru or to teach and then comes from tradition. So Kyo Deng are particular forms, uh, shapes, even one could say uh, methods within a form uh, which a master supposedly created and thus uh, also supposedly no other student or master would know how it would be. Uh, it would be kind of a secret, a secret form which he would tell just, just to some few students. However, we must not make a confusion with uh, Kyoden and Kuden. This Ku comes from mouth or Kuchi and then comes from, and then means, means tradition. This Kuden has a very different uh, meaning uh, if we think that Kuden is a secret that a master would tell to one or just some few students, but not concerning a form, not concerning a technique, but a principle of it. Let's consider, for example, the principle of uh, to drain the power of someone in Aikido Jutsu. So before doing any technique, any lock, any, any throw, uh, or any kind of immobilization, uh, and then his master would come and, and teach precisely to that student the principle of draining the power before draining the power of the OK before applying or concluding the technique. And furthermore, if this was passed uh, just to that student in a particular time, then you would have kuden. So we got to make a confusion of kyoden and kuden. So it's very important not to confuse kyoden and kuden. Uh, Kyoden are forms, uh, and these forms would be supposedly uh, created by a particular master, and so he would teach to just some students. However, those are forms, and he and it would be uh, conceived or understood that because that that master created it, uh, no other master would know it, or no, or no other student would also know it, and so it, it will become. Um, a set of movements, a set of sequences, which only those people would know. 
One could not confuse it with Kudai, as, as we were saying, because Kudai, this ku from Gucci, or mouth and then tradition, has a very different meaning. What Kudai brings to us is the idea that a master would pass to one or just some few students a secret of an art, or even say, a technique. However, not as a form, not as a shape, but yet as a principle to be applied to every technique. For example, let's consider in Aikido Jutsu, uh, let's suppose that nobody at that time would know the, the principle of draining the whole power of the okay before applying or concluding a lock and immobilization or a technique of Aikido Jutsu. And so let's also suppose that this master would teach to ju just to that student these, these principles to be applied to the whole Aikido Jutsu stuff. So this could be seen as Kudai. Many masters and researchers also consider, uh, very interestingly, the translation for this Kudai mouth and tradition as to whisper just very close or just by the, by the, near, by the ear of a student. So brings us the idea of, of, of secret, a secret teaching, which is not the same as in Kyoden. Although Kyoden, as we saw, belongs to the Chuden stage, and uh, of course not everybody would have access to that until he got to that graduation. Uh, those are still just forms and just situations which a master uh, at a particular time conceived and thought that those would be particular uh, effective forms. And of course the deeper we get uh, into an art, uh, the more, more precise and more branches of knowledge we can find. We can also have one more slight confusion concerning uh, graduation stages, uh, structures of teachings and, and so on, because the sound, the phonetics of the Japanese terms could be very close. So we already uh, took a look at Kyoden, Kuden, and now there is one more called Okuden. Okuden, again, in our school, uh, it's the third stage. It's uh, are the studies which one gets to when he uh, reaches the graduation of Shidoshi. So, um, what, uh, our, our structure goes from Kohai, or from the person who got to a school by uh, in first place, in first time, to, to Uchideshi. He is uh, under the Shodan stage. Then he graduates to Sensei, where he goes to the Chuden stage. And so, from, uh, from Sensei to Shidoshi, he goes through the whole Chuden and from Shidoshi on, so he is under the uh, Okuden stage. So, we have Kyoden, Kuden, and Okuden as three different things. So, giving an example of what we have studied uh, under Kyoden, let's see uh, one, one particular case. Um, in this case, this Kyoden is called uh, Bakugumo. No kyoden. This baku comes uh, actually means uh, to stop, to to restrain, and gumo from cloud. So, what we see is a particular situation, a scenario in which two persons are very close to each other, side by side, and all from sudden he draws and pierces. Please show us. Okay. And this form, or this, this Kyoden, has some uh, particular principles, as we'll see. So, the whole sequence is like this. So, from the perspective of this Kyoden, as he draws in Suihei no Ki, I will draw and uh, set and set away, step away from from him using what I could use the most quickly I could. So I'll set my mai, and I will move, uh, kind of sliding. Bakumo no no kyoden brings an idea of sliding, of clouds moving, because it's very fast. And what I could use here is the mine, the base is lowered, and the mai. So from here, he tries one more time, he sees this branch in my position, and he enters. And I once again slide very close to him and finish. 
in case I give In this case, this particular uh, Kyoden has five movements. We saw one, and let's see another one. He draws and cuts Kesagiri. And I, and I said, and I step away from him. Then he cuts Kesagiri one more time. And I block his attack. And he comes for the final branch that he sees in my position. And I slide one more time and cut him. So, as we could see, a kyoden is a structure which has a particular number of sequences and that uh, brings us the idea that it was created by one particular master and supposedly he only would know the scenario and uh, what the, the techniques would, uh, where those techniques would fit or, or their aims. Now, it's customary that uh, every kyoden uh, is, is performed both in tachi and in suai position. So under this same bakumo no kyoden, let's see other, other sequence which would be performed in suari no yuko. So, first of all, he draws and cuts in kesagiri, aiming a short mai, and he cuts me here, trying to create a situation which would be quite difficult for the other party to uh, to step away from, from him or to do some technique. So we can already see that during this performance, the idea of the master who created uh, this, this Kyoden was to establish a pattern or a thought for uh, precisely this scenario and this condition. So let's see. One more time. He draws and tries to cut me quickly, and I slide. Block and intercut. 